First Corinthians eleven twenty three. Why do y'all gotta do this every week? Well, what's it to you? <laughs> Why can't we? It's our choice. You don't have to partake in. We just ask. Do it if you want to. But this we do in remembrance of him. Well, how often should you remember what Jesus did? Well, actually daily. If we if we were reminded daily of what Jesus did for us on the cross by giving his own life, perhaps we would learn to have some discipline where the things we think are concerned, the things we do are concerned, the things we hold against others, the things that we... Um, decide to hold in our hearts rather than, you know, forgive. You can't, you can't hold bitterness when you realize that Jesus bore my sin and my sickness and my disease in his own body on the cross so that I could be free. Well, if I'm, he made me free, shouldn't I be willing to release people? Who have harmed me. See, you just thought it was bread and crackers. No, this is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. He paid a great price. What price are you willing to pay to walk in all his goodness? Forgive as you've been forgiven. You've been forgiven much. Then you need to forgive much. Well, why you got to be so hard? I'm not hard. I'm just honest. Honesty is hard. You think you came in the you think you came into the kingdom of God to have, you know, your head patted and says, "Oh, you're so sweet." No. It's time to grow up. It's time to go up. I expect a two-year-old to be a two-year-old. I don't expect a 14-year-old to be a two-year-old. When I look at a 14-year-old behaving like a two-year-old, I'm going to think, hmm, your folk didn't raise you right. Well, God is trying to raise us right. We've been born again, placed in his kingdom, given his authority, given his enablement, that means power from on high to go into all the world and make disciples. I'm not about making weak disciples. Neither is he. We read about where he corrected his disciples when he was here. Uh, we just read it. Paul, you are, you are a little faith. You got to fix that. You got to fix that. You got to grow up, my, my, my friend. And the day is going to come when you do. But it's, gonna, it's at a price. Will he accept you as you are? Yes, he will. But you cannot stay the way you came. Because the way you came, you came broken and weak ignorant. He wants us to have his thoughts. He wants us to think the way he thinks. He wants us to walk in the newness of life. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. It's time. Okay? So, the Lord's Supper. 1 Corinthians 11, 23. For I received from the Lord himself that instruction which I passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This represents my body, which is offered this bread. Represents my body which is offered as a sacrifice for you, for you, for you, for you, for us. His body was broken for us. 
Because we couldn't break our own bodies to pay the price. We couldn't give our bodies to pay the price. We were sin creatures. Born in iniquity. Iniquity can't pay the price of iniquity. Jesus was not born in iniquity. Only he could pay the price. And he did it for us. Do this in affectionate remembrance of me. Partake. In the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, Thank you. Thank you. This cup is a new covenant. New covenant. Ratified and established in my blood. Ratified. Established. Again, it ain't going away. It's eternal. The cup of the new covenant is forever. His blood will never lose its power. His promise to us of eternal life will never lose its ability. We are righteous not because we did all the right stuff. We are made righteous because Jesus did all the right stuff. And just like he took our sin, we take his righteousness. Exchange. The great exchange. All we had to offer was sin. All he had to offer was righteousness. We wanted righteousness. So he took our sin. You gotta get this. You gotta you gotta you gotta renew your mind to this. You gotta stop calling yourself a sinner saved by grace. You gotta call yourself righteous. In the words of uh, uh Mr. Hammond. You call me righteous. I'm a new creation. He called me righteous. He calls me righteous. I don't call myself righteous. He calls me. And so I said, okay, I'll answer to that. You know why I answer to the name Cookie? It's my name. You know why I answer to righteous? It's my name. You don't know your name. You don't know your name. Let God talk to you. Spend some time with them. He'll introduce you to the real you. Drink. Thank you, sir. Whew. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are symbolically proclaiming the fact of the Lord's death until he comes again. He's, he's, coming again. he's coming again. He's coming again. If he if he died and rose from the dead, he's coming he's again. Coming. It's still an empty tomb. It's still an empty tomb. Because he rose. So if he rose from the dead, he also says he's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah. We who are Born into the, we who have received Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are already in the kingdom of heaven. Those of you whom I call friends have not received him as your Lord and Savior. You are not in the kingdom. You can be. You should be. It's for you. He died thinking about you. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever, I'm a whosoever. I'm a whosoever. A bunch of whosoever's out here. So who, whosoever should receive him, to whoever receives him, he gives them the power, the right, the authority. Become children of God. To become 
his kids. You're not a kid yet. What does it take to become one? I'm glad you asked. The Bible says, whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus. When you're desperate, that's all it takes. If you got a little bit more time, you can say, Jesus, I declare you Lord and Savior of me. Lord, you're the boss of me. I submit myself to you and to all your goodness. You are you promised to make me alive and whole, bring all my broken pieces together and mend those hurting places in me that nobody can fix. I receive you as my Savior. I receive you as my Lord. I receive you as the boss of me. Direct me, guide me, help me. Teach me how to walk in your goodness. Amen. 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 Now I prayed all that. All it took was the Jesus saved me. He's right there. He's right there. <laughs> He's right He's there. right there. He's not hiding himself from you. He's hiding himself from for those who are in him. So come on and get in him and have him open those doors, open wide your heart and your understanding and your ability to receive from his goodness. Right? All right.